Yeah, there's nothing wrong with chilling every once in a while. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is A Streamline, and welcome back to Stellar Blade. Yeah, my last part, all I had to do was just a, a little more exploration, and I managed to get the cranes operated, so that way I'd be able to proceed forward inside this new area. So, in any case, I'm just going to get these enemies out of my way and get moving. I'll bring it down! Ow. Ouch. Ow, my shield. Jerks. Ow. Just go down. Ow. Okay, that could have been better. But in any case... How do I get down this shaft without hurting myself, is the question. Hmm. Because if I jump off, I know I'm just going to take damage. Well, let's try it anyway. Yep, it wouldn't let me uh, do the uh, air dash, so... Kind of out of the question. Oh, here we go. Should have done that earlier. That'll make a safe landing. There isn't enough water. Hold on. You have to dive down to open a different valve. Mm hmm Yeah, I kind of want to heal myself. There we go. I'll ignore the enemies this time. Let's go. Time to swim. Is there anything here? Yeah, yeah, there should be, actually, because I saw something before. Let's dive. Yep, more Vic coins. It's a good thing I got a plentiful amount. Get up. Ah, oh, another key, huh? I do remember getting another key to turn off the security. Not sure I used that yet or not. Yeah, there's a little gold right there. And there's a letter. Let's check it out. Up we go. I'm not too certain, but uh, maybe her skin tight outfit it can be good for swimming. More water? Sure thing. That should be enough. You can get out by going back to where you started. Uh, of course. Let's go. Dive. Enemies down here. Shame I can't really fight underwater. But, uh, who knows? Maybe that'll change. This way. At least I'll be able to fast travel and backtrack for some things. I think that might be the robot I scanned earlier. More tremors. Right. We're almost there. Let me do a scan one more time. Yeah, there's nothing here. Get him! Yeah, that's what happens when you puncture a balloon. I'm getting a lot of drone upgrade modules. Maybe I'll receive a lot of upgrades when I, uh, can finally use the drone in combat. That sure is taking a while now, isn't it? We're finally outside. Huzzah! See that crater over there? That area is Alpha Nativa territory. What's a drop pod doing there? 
It was abandoned a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's what made this crater. Wait, that's a fifth airborne squad drop pod. Let's take a closer look. All right, and there's another rest area over there. How convenient. Yeah, not seeing too much else with the scan. Oh, there's a human over there. Elite Division Athena has been wiped out. The lacerated state of the corpses tells us it's the work of a single Nativa. What was that sound? Something is coming this way fast. Dang it! It's here! Something really bad, I presume. Even with the scan, I'm not really seeing all that much. Let's go ahead and uh, activate this rest area. In you go. And of course, there's always the uh, decor there. Oh, what do you know? I got enough tumbler enhancements to uh, increase my rechargeable tumbler count. Let's do it. Count for rechargeable tumbler increased. So I can heal myself more. Finally! That took a while. Alright, take a rest. Eve, it's pretty faint, but I'm picking up a distress signal coming from that drop pod. That means. There might still be survivors. Really? I can't say for sure, and the Alpha NAT bug could appear at any moment. So let's make sure we're well prepared. I'm pretty much prepared already. There could still be stuff around, though. I'm, I'm curious, though. I haven't fast traveled before. I just want to see how it looks. Okay, so... you never. I don't guess you never see a map, but you can see all the locations of the uh, different uh, advanced rest points that you've been to before. So if I ever want to, I can go back. So it's safe to say this isn't entirely like an open world game, more rather just be able to freely ro roam around on this big path straight forward. Or there could be different realms in the future. Got a feeling I'm gonna fight a boss here. Let's do it. Let's see what's here. Do Wait. not open. I hear something. Eve, look up! Oh, it's that thing. I've seen that in the trailers. It looks like a gorilla with a very sharp tire on its head. I was wondering when I'd see that. Oh! Almost missed the wrong button there. Let's get him. Ah! Uh-oh. I tried to block that. Not gonna attack her? Uh-oh. Ouch. Get up. Gotcha. Is that the best you got? Missed. Ah, oh, dang it. I didn't see that coming. That looks really dangerous. Gotcha!
Heal up. Okay, I guess I can't parry that. That's really dangerous. Just really wish I could use the drone as a weapon right now. Missed. Dang it. Ah, oh, he killed me. I was trying not to die, but I didn't expect him to get, like, a big power boost like that. Let's try this again. At least now I kind of know what he's going to do. Just got to keep willing on him until he goes down. Let's skip this. And that. I'll wreck you senseless. Ow. Aha. Oh, come on. I was pushing forward. Uh-oh. I'm surprised he hasn't even tried to use, uh, like a spinny tire attack or something. Gotcha! Uh-oh. Perfect dodge. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, come on. I tried to carry that. I was trying to heal up, but he wouldn't let me. Come on. Can I please take this guy down without too much of a hassle? Skip and skip. Ah, come on, I tried to. Gotcha! Ouch. That freaking hurt you, jerk. Uh oh. Heal up. Sometimes you just gotta keep repetitively parrying if you wanna survive. I don't think so. Uh oh. Rock! I tried to dodge it, come on! Shield's gone. Uh-oh. Tried to dodge it. Oh, I can parry that? Yeah, it kind of breaks my shield somewhat. Why didn't that work? I saw the flash. Come on. Missed. Try this. Broke my shield, jerk. Gotcha! Heal up. Make sure to have that on hand. Oh, there we go. That did a lot of damage. Time to jam up the works. Yeah, tear him up. That's what I'm talking about. Whew. There's a collapse just happened. So that was Gigas, huh? Interesting. Well, took me a lot of tries, but I got him. Should definitely get my resources back. And another weapon core. Always a good thing to have one of those. All right, let's upgrade. New weapon core. 
Attack power enhanced. Man, I love doing that. More attack power is a good thing. Okay, considering I have this uh, exospine equipped, I'll go ahead and upgrade it. There we go. I've maxed it out. And I need more resources for that one. Uh, give me one second, guys. And I'm back. I just had to adjust something. Alright. Let's take a chill pill. Can't wait to have more uh, resources. I like being resourceful, and I like being able to have a plentiful amount of healing items. Yep, sometimes even though a boss can take you multiple tries, it's still satisfying when you learn how to beat it and just take it down hard. That was awesome. I was kind of hoping that something like that would happen, where you just, uh, like, put a wrench in the works, so to speak, and then cause him to... Destroy himself. <laughs> and what's this I find? My goodness. I can't believe this. This is the Alpha Nativa. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core. She were. Hmm? Uh, there's something you need to know. The truth is. Hello? Here! Oh, come on. Can somebody rescue me? Please? Are you in voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. Survivor from the airborne squad. Oh. I've seen her in the trailers too. Were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the seventh airborne squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the fifth airborne squad. Lily Artemis the second. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> so just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes. Thank you so much for saving me. Dang. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well... I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Orkel, who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please, help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Orkel and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? I will cooperate. Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes. I suppose there's no reason to say no. However, I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. 
That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes! All right, really getting into things now, are we? I like the ship. to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's out, but it's weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. Yeah, I can see how it lands there. It's like a perfect landing platform for it. So, perhaps this might be the hub world? Wow! A whole city underneath the wasteland! Impressive! It's amazing. Even in the darkest times, it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct. So, where do we go? No time for breaks. Typical Eve. <laughs> well, hey, she doesn't want to waste any time. Oracle is in the presence chamber. Follow me. Oh, so this would be my pre-order bonus. Like they built the city deep and high. This will be my bonus for pre-ordering the game. Alright. The Planet Diving Suit. Six. Looks kind of nice. As well as the ear armor. And the glasses. I don't entirely have a glasses finish, but uh... Well, maybe I'll try it out. And I got cool stuff there. I got the Stargazer suit on that one. And a lot of experience for purchasing the DLC. Quadruple rectangle. Half rim glasses. And stargazer pack. Stargazer wear. Stargazer coat. It's cool how they uh, put it there. Looks like I found another rest area. How about we rest so I know my progress is saved? Oh, I can't use it right now. Still. I have new clothes and stuff. How about I try that out? I'm not sure about changing Adam's clothes. Can I do that? Hmm. Ah, new slots. Hmm. So that's her current outfit, and that'd be the Stargazer outfit. Not bad, actually. I'll put it on. And as for Adam's look, well, on him, I'm not too certain. I'll keep him like that for now. Now, let's check out my armored pack here. Well, it's neat. I'll give it that much. But uh, I kind of like that one better because of the uh, detailing. So I'll keep it like that. As for this, let's take a look. Uh, the gold is nice. I'll give it that much. I haven't checked out the Stargazer pack. Might as well do that. Hmm. Shiny and golden. Though, definitely uh, something that uh, women would definitely wear to a place that's meant for more mature people. <laughs> and here I have the pre-order bonus. The planet diving suit. Hmm. 
and the Red Passion. Not too interested in this one. I do like the color red, though, so I'll put that on. Now let's see here. The, yeah, the rectangles is kind of neat. Yeah, I want to keep the crimson tier on. As for the glasses, not, never been a fan of big ones. I don't really like those either. I'll keep her glasses less. <laughs> Without glasses, it's perfectly fine. Of course, I did get new gear and stuff. Though I can only equip two at a time right now. And as for the enhanced beta gear... Hold on a second. Well, yeah. Duh. Yeah, that protection type exospine I got before. I need a new slot so that way I can put the other spine there. Okay. Let me take a stretch here, guys. Ugh! Yeah, I guess I'll do a little more. I'm going to check out the city a little bit. Now, this outfit's very sleek. Can't seem to sprint here Are right now. Those walls around the city supposed to protect it from Natiba attacks? I guess so. I'm assuming that's like a new pathway that I can't go to yet. The walls don't seem to be as reinforced as well as they should be. Hmm. You're telling me. This place is huge. there will be a protocol to rescue everyone. It'll be a big project. But the only way it'll be possible to contact the colony will be to finish the mission. I hope that day comes soon. Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. Well, it's good to have a nice guy around. Take a look around for hey, a bit. Here. Ah, uh, I can't scan anything. Not sh Oh, there is something here. The Sion. Prophet Oracle rewards Sentinel warriors. We must pay respects to the fallen Sentinels who gave their lives for, C for Zeon. Yeah, I'll look at the rest of it on my own time. You guys can just pause the video and take a look at the whole thing. You good? Okay. Alrighty. Am I to assume this is your, uh, your safe house, perhaps? Come on, we're almost there. Alright, and there's a rest area here, but I don't think I can use it yet. Still, might be able to activate it. Or, it's already activated. <laughs> you know, I did get all those skill points. Maybe I can use them for some things. Because, uh, by getting the DLC and then finally getting the pack, I can now get a lot of stuff. I like to do more attack power on that one. And what about this? Unleashes an additional energy wave to deal a final blow, stuns enemies with the hit. 
or stuns the hit enemy. So basically, I can do it again. Let's see. I can't get either of those, but uh, let's see. The first energy wave of shock wave stuns hit enemies. Additionally, increases the attack power of shock wave. And cross wave hits enemies, increases the attack power of cross wave. Cool. So what else? I don't really use the charge ability too much. Hmm. Eh, I'll save them for now. I mean, I could be getting the attack power for the drone pretty soon. Replenish ammo. Can't be used right now. Hello. You guys look interesting. Guess I can only talk to this one. Hey, Rael. It's been a while. Looks like you brought guests. Very important guests. Can you open the door? Go. Oracle is waiting for you. See you soon, Rael. Yep. Keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. Oh, I've seen him in the trailers too. I was wondering about him. Oh. I see we have guests. Welcome. I see that you're blind. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativer. Could you show me anything it might have drawn? Yes, I can. Here. Oh, it's an alpha core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Natiba, the leader of all other Natibas. Well, then, I suppose you're trying to use the alpha core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... How do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. Interesting. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Alrighty. Hey, here. Yeah, as soon as I hit a, a rest point, I'll call this part good. I don't mean to extend it too much.
Wow. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Hey, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. Sure thing. So let's see what this does. It's like one of the power cells from Metroid Prime 3. Kind of, sort of. here in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Dave, please help us. It'd be the right thing to do. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being, I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells if the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Mar, outsiders. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. Hmm. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Nativa now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Matt, a Sentinel commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say, so I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Sounds pretty straightforward. Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Abe, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes, we have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. I hear ya. Alrighty. Can I use the rest area now? Hm. Who are you? Angel, the Sentinels are watching you. Oracle has allowed you to enter the city. However, that doesn't mean that you can do as you please. Hmm. Noted. Oh, I feel better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Abe, can I ask you for a favor? 
I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. That all sounds good. Citizens requests. There are people in the world who need Eve's help. Listen to their stories and complete the request to be rewarded. You can swipe down on the touchpad to open the missions list. Here you can read the list of missions you have accepted and their descriptions. So there are side quests, okay? Well, before I do anything else, I just want to go back to, uh... Darn it, I wish I had a map. I, I have no idea where to go. Oh, now it mentions a map. The map will be activated in designated areas. You can check your current location and surrounding terrain to locate the target more easily. You can swipe up to open the map. Freaking finally! Man, why didn't it tell me that before? Alright, I'm gonna head back to the ship and then uh, just go on the rest area. And I'll do that later. I want to end this part. I've extended it too much now. <laughs> eh, so much to explore, but I'm just gonna have to come back to it. I had no idea they walked this much into the city. <laughs> later. Alright, I'm off to a really good start, seeing all sorts of cool stuff. Let me check this. Scavenger Ions, first note on the EVE protocol. Yeah, you guys can go ahead and uh, just pause and read this thing, because I'd rather just read it on my own time. Okay. Time to rest, finally. Okay, I've seen a lot of cool stuff. What can't be used right now? I'm trying to save here. Ah, uh, I'll just end the part anyway. Well, in any case, thank you guys very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless. And until next time, this is A Streamline signing off.